The Festival of Flowers opens tonight in Greenwood. More than 40 living topiaries will be on display. But how do the horticulturists make these characters and objects out of flowers? Christine Scarpelli tells us in this hometown spotlight, A City in Bloom. When you want something done right, like sprucing up the streets of your city, it only makes sense to pick the best. I have been doing horticulture and landscaping for 35 years. We have a lot of echinacea here, the rudbeckia, tons of milkweed. The proof is in the propagation. Now this is my garden. It's where you'll find Ann Barklow, now semi-retired horticultural crew chief for the city of Greenwood. Right now I'm hogging all of the pollinators and butterflies and monarchs here, but I'll share them if anybody wants to build a garden like this. Swing by and see it on the garden tour, a favorite part of the Festival of Flowers in its 51st year, second to these. About 10 years ago, the topiaries were brought in and they were brought in trying to get more people to come uptown. Our crown jewel is Lily the mermaid and Stenalissa the dolphin. This is Bubbles the seahorse. And here is Milkshake, our beautiful cow. 44 unique creations living under the <laughs> like close watch job. of city horticulturists. <laughs> we are the Edward Scissorhands of Greenwood. <laughs> Plants and flowers cradled by a wire frame and watered from the inside. Carla Coffey is an intern from nearby Lander University. Make sure that everything is ready to go for people to see. She says she gets her deep appreciation for the festival from its founders. The show gardens at Park Seed Company attracted visitors and flower growers from all over. The topiaries, an idea borrowed from Disney World, would cultivate tourism growth like the city had never seen. Disney recommended that they start with four topiaries. So they started with 13. They were scattered all over town at people's houses and buildings. Since then, things have continued to bloom. Water with commitment. <laughs> this could get a little obsessive. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you got to cut yourself off at some point. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. Bringing flower followers <laughs> back to see what new buds the season brings. It's just a joy to see so many people be able to get outside and enjoy all the beauty. With yeah. photojournalist Ryan Goodman, Christine Scarpelli for 7 News. There are events all month long in Greenwood, including a wine walk and kids events, but this weekend is the main one for the festival. We have more information on WSPA.com. All right. We found at least some folks that are actually happy with getting a lot of rain. Uh -huh, you noticed that? Yeah, I did they notice it that. Out there, didn't yeah. It? yeah, and it looks fantastic, and what a great story. Mm -hmm. Just kind of a nice little hidden jewel there mm -hmm. in Greenwood. Well, the weather.